Jason will be joining in on the act now. The power major in the front, and you can see uh, when you start getting ploughs following one another, the ground soon starts to disappear. No, 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 What the track there about 20 years ago, I suppose. I don't take her out very much, as you see, on metal wheels. It's a bit uh, awkward loading and unloading, but uh, we decided we'd get it out for uh, this fortune do at uh, Piper's Pool, so here we are. It's uh, 1946 Fordson Major. I purchased it about 18 months ago, largely because my grandfather had a new one in 1946, and I just wanted to have one of those. It's a 65 model, and it was a hedge-grown tractor. So hedge-grown tractor. Hedge-grown tractor. So the chap went. We went there, and the chap said he he'd given to a good home. So my boy had, and it's all been rebuilt. Really complete engine and tin work and everything. It was bought new from Fulford Trumps in 73 and then Peter acquired it and it's used daily on his farm. Last night we was pressure washing it off to bring it here today. Here we have Mr David Uppingham is uh, putting a county to work with this flat lift cultivator. You can see it's doing a good job. You can probably see in the camera just how much that land is coming up. It's probably rising a good three inches there. You can actually see the ground sort of shattering up. 